Welcome to ITU Telecom World 2019 in Budapest, Hungary this year, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Mr. Hiroshi Tominaga, who is uh, the general manager of the Japan Battery Regeneration Company. Uh, Mr. Tominaga, welcome to the studio. I'm happy to be back in four years. Very nice Budapest. to see you. Very nice, nice to see nice you. you again. Uh, so I wanted to ask you, what is the role of Japan Battery Regeneration in widening access to digital economy? Okay. Uh, we have technology to re regenerate old abandoned lead ash batteries, and we can extend battery life, and we can reuse old batteries. And those are very helpful for people in developing countries, people in uh, non-electrified regions. So to be here is, we, we, have, we know how to contribute to those people in the problem of a digital divide. And uh, for business, we can go other places, place, but uh, our contribution can be important for this world. How complex is the technology required to regenerate batteries? Uh, the, the material, we have the additive for lead acid batteries. It's proven, technically proven, and very highly reliable products and uh, we have a uh, lot of uh, good record and uh, it's not difficult to use our technology and our additive but uh, we need a, a partner who understand the battery and who understand the regeneration service so we need a partner in each country because we cannot do a regeneration service by ourselves we can we can supply the product and we can teach and guide how to do a regeneration successfully. And I know you were here uh, uh, four years ago here at ITU Telecom World. I wanted to find out from you, uh, how, how has it been going for you? How, how, how is business? Oh, very good. And uh, because we are a small company, we cannot move very fast as we would like. But still, we are making a steady progress, and especially as you know, after we received the award, SME award from ITU Telecom World, it was a very good, excellent tool for us to start a new business with new companies. And uh, in terms of um, uh, the award itself, actually, I wanted to ask you, what, what impact has winning the award had on your business? And what has changed since winning the award? OK. Uh, now we are supplying our additive and our tech regeneration technology, which is used by Nitsushoji. Nitsushoji is a big group company of uh, Japan's number one logistic company called uh, Nippon Express. And uh, before we came here four years ago in Budapest, we already had the discussion for new business discussion with Nitsushoji. But, uh, it's a Japanese big company, so they do uh, extensive research before they make a uh, decision. And we are discussing, and uh, after, it took almost more than one year until they finally made a decision to use our technology to uh, utilize our advice. And uh, finally, we could uh, make a deal. And uh, one important thing is that uh, we could uh, uh, reliability from uh, receiving uh, SME award from ITU Telecom World because because uh, the person in charge of a new business fully understood our technology and he was confident but he had to convince top management and the two com for convincing top management is ITU award was very helpful for us. Excellent. So you would recommend other SMEs to, to yes. come here and, and to, to pitch Definitely. their products and yes. their ideas? Yeah. Because uh, uh, we didn't know about ITU, much about ITU before we joined four years ago, but uh, it is very effective. And uh, whenever I see uh, Japanese uh, venture companies who have uh, uh, innovative, unique technology, I tell them, oh, there is uh, such a uh, telecom world and uh, you could join and uh, there is a 
it's a good platform, and we, we are really appreciate the ITU, IT Telecom World, and also I want to mention three persons' name, Mr. Zhao, and Mr. Kawasumi, Mr. Asami. Those people helped and guided us very a lot, and we are really thankful, thankful for this organization. Great. Well, I'm, I'm sure they'll be very glad to hear yeah. that. Uh, in terms of uh, innovation in technology, policies, strategies, what do you think has the most potential to drive digital transformation? Uh, for, for our company, it's a little different from majority of uh, participants in this uh, telecom world. And uh, from our viewpoint, uh, important thing is that people in uh, developing countries, non electric regions, poorer countries, and they need, uh, they need okay, okay, I heard uh, f uh, roughly 50% of people in the world don't have access to internet. That's a big problem. And uh, we want to help them by supplying a low cost uh, lead acid batteries because they, they need uh, power and uh, power source and they need an uh, inexpensive power source. Well, that's wonderful. Well, look, we wish you the very best of luck yes, with uh, yeah. the next uh, four years. <laughs> yeah, yes. And hopefully we will catch up with you again soon. Yes. But thank you very yes. much for joining thank us you. in the studio. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.